Yo folks, you guys said that you enjoyed this chill type of shady commentary. So here's another one. I started using Gyro and Dum Dum and TV station instantly got into action. There was a team in the healing tent. As you could see, I had one teammate um, who died, by the way, very early. I had an early kill. I started nading that area to make sure that I'm not getting attacked from that side. My teammate was already down. And first thing to highlight is that you can see that I'm not a regular Dum Dum player. I mean, my aim still needs to be polished because I was more aiming to the to the body and not to the legs. Anyways, I quickly had to pick up um, a secondary weapon because I knew I was running out of ammunition. I had, was playing the Bison um, with two um, magazines, so one in the gun and one spare mag. And then there was another team incoming from the staircase. So what I did is that I wanted to like, kind of lock them out from the area and thereby I smoked uh, you know, the, the entrance because I, was, I knew that there are still enemies um, near the healing tent or, or within the office. So what I did, I was falling back and started reloading. I'm not sure if it would be worth playing with uh, with three max in total. I just got used to playing with two. So I had during the game, during this game, I had to basically reload multiple times. And I kept pushing towards that area because, you know, I already had some, some, some kills and um, additional players were inside. So I was just you know, trying to get closer and closer, but I knew that there is danger. This was also an okay kill, but, um, you know, I'm not that proud of that because, you know, I, again, I should have shot more the legs and not the body, but Fortunately, this is just um, just lockdown version and not the uh, not the ATK version. But I guess I would have been dead by you know if I face like T5 players. I'm not saying that these are Timmy's, all of them, but uh, you know, pretty easy targets. Here, what I what I want to highlight, guys, is that whenever you peek on the left hand side or the right hand side. Keep changing your position, okay? Because if you peek on the same side, then it's easier for the enemy to predict where you're gonna, you know, peek and, and you're gonna become an easy target. But again, I had yet an additional kill because of rotating left to right, left to right. And I, I think this was a, a pretty much okay dumb dumb kill. But still, I didn't even have a chance to check any of my uh, kills. And as you can see, I had to reload again multiple enemies still being around and then yet another team or not yet another player coming from downstairs i guess this was again not the most fortunate uh, uh kill with with dum dums because there was that medical bad so i couldn't actually shoot at his legs but it was it was it was pretty much okay still i was just waiting for you know something to happen to start looting i, I just I just couldn't. If you check the sound prints, there was one, two, two, I think two enemies still around. I'm not sure if this is the team uh, that was there or originally, or it, if it was the team coming from the staircase. I don't know, but I knew that there are still two enemies around. So I just stayed on that area. I tried to push them from multiple sides, as you can see. So I wasn't just sitting there and ratting. I was trying to understand what's happening not the best uh, shooting technique because again i was shooting a bit too upwards uh, and i guess this this guy didn't die i i, I have no clue about this maybe this, this this guy was afk again good proof that i need to uh polish my my dum dum skills it was an okay kill it was it wasn't actually pvp because shooting somebody in the back is doesn't require like you know actual skill but anyways i already had i think <laughs> i don't know four or five kills and i couldn't loot so i was just staying here trying to understand where the enemies are gonna come from i tr sometimes i tried to be silent sometimes i was you know running around just to see what they're gonna do and if you see their sound prints now if you read them properly then i knew that i'm gonna be cornered they're gonna attack me from two sides i was let's say somewhat panicking because i knew that someone is gonna come from that side left side and the other guy is gonna be here on the right hand side i'm not sure if it was a coordinated attack 
but basically i i I also started pushing. I thought that, you know, if I push, maybe I'm going to have a better chance, but I did a deadly mistake. And that mistake was that if you, if at that point where he was running away, I should have stopped and just zoomed instead of running towards him because I became the easy target. So if this happens to you guys, then just stop for a second and then, um, you know, let him run into your crosshair. Second game. I'm bundling three games, uh, by the way, here, same um, same area, and uh, the context is that I was spawning downstairs, I knew that there is a team upstairs here in this area, I thought there were, maybe there were th three enemies at the beginning, but then by the time I got here, there, I only saw two footsteps, and here the learning is, guys, that don't always be the guy who is pushing inside or, or through a door because this is what, what kind of killed him. It was an easy kill again. And then this next scene is about, I, I, I think this, um, this, this is how dumb dumbs should be played. I was trying to get near and when I got near, I was, was you know, ruthless. I was just destroying the legs instantly and easy T5, 90k uh, full and even had chance or time to revive my teammate. So this is this was the kind of the first kill against a T5 player with Dum Dums where I, I, I thought that, okay, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. And uh, in the third game, this scene is about, again, reading sound prints. You can see in the chat that my teammate was saying that the door opened and we saw that there are some some sound prints here uh, near to us. So this is why I started throwing nades. Whenever you throw nades, then there is a slight chance that the enemy is going to start moving. But the enemy didn't move. Still, it doesn't mean he, he just vanished. So I, I, I knew that there, there must be somebody here. Maybe staircase, maybe this corridor. So, so look at what happened. I was checking the area and instead running blindly I was checking this corner because of the sound print this is why it's so important to to learn reading the sound prints and um, after that kill we went over to the uh, to the office we knew that there are players inside at least one and um, I was I was letting my teammate to go through that corridor and I wanted to go from the other side. You can see that there are, uh, there are sound prints. That enemy was you know, somewhere over there on the right hand side. But unfortunately, another team was incoming and I also got attacked by the bots. At this point, I should have rotated. This was a big mistake. I should have rotated because I was starting to run out of ammunition and as you can see, I was trying to reload, but the sound prints were coming closer. This was a very bad attack, like, like, like terribly bad. But then at the end of the day, I at least had one kill. There was still another teammate and then I got shot from the left. And good proof that guys, you just need to rotate in time. If you don't get the kill, run away, then reset and then basically set up your attack again. But anyways, gyro and dum dums, guys, this, this, this combo works. And um, I'm gonna do a follow-up video because after these, I had a game in which I had seven kills, seven kills and I extracted with 600,000 TV stations, same loadout, dum dums um, and um, gyroscope enabled. And by the way, in this video, I had gyroscope on in the first video and in the third one. And the second one, I turned it off kind of to check the difference. Um, I like it. So I would encourage you to, to check it out, test it. And thank you, Yusuf, by the way. Thank you, sir, for recommending to use gyro. It definitely helps. It, made me a bit you know i didn't feel secure it feels like my, my my hands are shaking at the beginning but then you know you, you can get used to it and somehow like magically it improves your aim so definitely um enable gyroscope or at least try it thanks for your attention shoot loot subscribe see you next time Shitty out bye